All right, so this is just a quick demonstration on how to install these hot swap sockets. Um, Trouble Trombone wanted me to do a little video, so we're just going to do something like really quick. Um, so this is the socket. It's kind of hard to see. Really small, but just big enough for, for the switch sockets. And so you're just going to put it in right here. If we can get it in just using my fingers, so we'll keep it like that. I'm gonna grab the other one. Clip that on like that. And then what I like to do is to get some heat tape just to hold it in place. Those are my scissors. So this will hold it down while we're soldering it. And you can do like a whole layer if you wanted to, but since I'm just doing one. So now you can see it from the other end. And you still have, this is this is the longer socket, so you still have like a little bit of room. Um, the 7305s won't be as long, this is just a zero, zero 0305. <clears throat> so we'll just take our soldering iron and our wire. Let me get a focus on there. It's trying to focus on the wire. Yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna heat it up, the pad, and just apply just the tiniest amount. Let's see, do I have my hot iron hot enough? It should be. There it goes. Just like that. With the 7305s, you want to be really careful because you don't want to get any of that solder in the socket. These are a little more forgiving just because they're longer. There we go. So that's soldered now. You can just turn off our iron. We can remove our tape. Like this, and just try this cherry blue. Why not? I have right there. So a little bit of tape. That's okay. So you can just take your once you have it all like soldered together, and you can put your switches in like so. And they're really firm. So there's my switch in place. Of course, you'd have a frame with this as well. It's just for a quick demonstration. Or a plate, I mean. And yeah. Just like that. Thank you.